I just want to warn you guys before we get into Hacker Replay. Today I woke up with a worse cough than usual, so I'm probably going to cough a decent amount. Uh, for stream, there's nothing I can do about it. For YouTube, I'm going to try to edit it all out, but I will probably miss one or two, and I apologize for that. Uh, but we have six matches to watch today. Two of them are from the same person. Uh, they're back-to-back -back matches, but that will be at the end. Uh, we're going to start with Shailai. In this match, we have not quite Mystic, who's accusing I love, I love Damod. Means I love you love. I'm saying a solid three at a three three split for hackers and non hackers today. Honestly, I think that'll be about right. Keep in mind, two of the matches are the same accused person, so technically there's only going to be up to five cheaters or five potential cheaters today. Why? What is happening? Is this... I don't know if that's my PC or if that's the match replay. Budget ass PC. Ooh. Okay, solid rush into a complete standstill, which makes me feel like he's activating cheats because why would you stand still there? He's looking at nothing, though. Keeps looking downstairs at nothing. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe he was just writing in chat. That is always possible, but... Whenever people stand still like that, it generally means that they're activating something, some type of cheat. Because the way cheats work is you can't just like open the game with your cheats open. You have to open the cheats after and inject into the game. But a lot of people will go AFK so that they can inject their cheats. Just not even phased by the shots that he took from over there. Yeah, a lot of times... AFK is not good. But also the way he's playing makes it seem like he has absolute... He's not even looking at places that people could be in. Now he goes to basement. Gets spotted by the camera. He's literally staring at them. Unless there's a shield there. Is there a shield there? Nope. Okay. Round two. Dead. Into round three. Is he gonna rush again? Yes. The timing on that fell just a little bit short. And the bandit does not even care. Wait, what? How is that a headshot? What? what? His head's up here! Is that just like a, a match replay bug? Is he actually like crouch? Actually, no, because then the shield. Uh, no, but then the shield would block the bullets. I, okay. We'll see. If that's like the only instance, then whatever. It's just a match replay bug. Another headshot. Another headshot. All those headshots and the headshot through the shield must have been because this guy was wearing the Varsity Gaming Charm. That's the only way you could pull that off. So get your charm today by subbing my Twitch channel with Twitch Prime or using $5. Missed everything. Another headshot. He still looks completely lost. No ace. Um, so I don't know how it works. So I know with reinforcements and castle barricades, if you shoot at someone while they're putting it down, if the barricade or the reinforcement is in the way, it'll absorb the bullets. I don't know how shields work though. I assume the same thing. 
So the fact that he was able to headshot a, fr a frost through the shield, if they were crouched, I went through the shield. If they were standing, he headshot them by aiming at the floor. I, it makes very little sense. Shields are the same? Okay, so then yeah, I don't understand how he actually managed to get the kill, because even if they were crouched, they then he would have shot through the shield. Oh my god, someone was running right in front of him and he didn't even realize. Oh my god, he looked away at the perfect timing. That actually just stressed me out. Where is he going? Oh no. The panic. I wish I could just run around like this and no one would even shoot at me. That was a lot of missed shots. What is it? Oh my god, his thought process when he's doing half this shit is stressing me out. Also, they didn't reinforce any of site wall. They don't hear that? Oh my god. What rank is this lobby? Like, his aim is terrible. His game sense is terrible. I don't think he's cheating. But, remember, there are people who, who do cheat and they still really suck at the game. He is significantly better than the first two rounds where he was just completely lost. Now he actually knows roughly where to go. But, he's also... His aim is still just terrible. I don't know. He knows about run out positions, like he knows about this. And obviously so is the enemy team because they used it against his team. For me, this reads like a lobby that watches a lot of YouTubers, like Coconut Bra. And who are trying to be like him. But don't have the skills required to be like him. but sometimes go against enemies who are just bad enough that they can still pull it off. You can also tell how nervous he is because he's constantly twitching everywhere. Or just playing super high sense. He's just staring at them. They're just pushing him and dying. He just stared at the third bit again. No. Thermite's just fucking sliding around. <laughs> oh my god. The thermite's like the fucking aliens in the claw machine from Toy Story. The claw has chosen me. He's just flying around. Oh my god, no way he gets away with this. Okay.
took a while to kill him there. Let's see what that aim was like. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's just a really bad lobby. We'll have to, we'll still watch it all, because what, what happens if at the end he just spin bots, you know? Like, they are about to lose. But I've seen enough of these matches to, I, I, I want to say that this entire lobby is like fairly low level, like probably bronze level. And I think he watches a lot of YouTube content and is trying to recreate it, but doesn't have the game sensor skill in order to replicate it at, you know, a consistently high level. He sometimes gets peaks like that which work, but then other times he just whiffs everything or just looks away. But I assume because this is, you know, from what I've seen so far, a fairly low level lobby, they probably just accused him of cheating because he has a lot of kills. Like he has almost double the amount of kills as anyone else in this lobby. Floor is closest at seven. In this situation, if it were my team, blue team starts running out one by one. So like we have, we're in a 5v3, we have room to, to throw. They also are running out one by one and then it goes down to a 3v3. In this lobby, no, it's a 5v2. Yeesh. That was a little rough aim. Blue team surely must win, right? Bro, if I were if I dropped like 17 kills like this and I lost, I'd be upset. Man, I've made videos on that. I think there was one game where I dropped like 21 kills and we lost. I can only do so much as an individual. Oh, I know this spawn peak. This is also Coconut Bra spawn peak. This dude 100% watches uh, John, or Coconut, and just is trying to replicate all of the, his spawn peaks. Like a thousand percent. It's part of the Bra fam. Should have carried harder. Yeah. When I dropped 21 kills, I, just, I, I carried my team to a loss, you're right. I should have carried harder, carried them to a victory. God, he is so twitchy. This guy needs to lower his sensitivity. This is where you run out of garage door. And get a free double. Or die. Does blue team lose this? Oh my god, they do. He didn't get any kills that round. No, nope, ran right through a cap can trap. Oh, that recoil control. Yep, yep, he sh he's shaking it off, he's shaking it off. It's like Taylor Swift. Just shake it off. Okay, didn't shake it off quite enough. And they lose. Alright, chat. I'm going to guess he's probably in bronze. This is no longer hacker replay. This is guess your rank. <laughs> While we wait for it to load, I uh, uploaded the clip where I finally got champion. I posted on TikTok and I showed my stats where I was just like, I've been plat for so many seasons and now I'm champion. Like, this is so stupid. And then the top comment on the TikTok was like, no way this guy's been playing for seven years and he's hard stuck plat. Uh... Well, I I respect the roast. It's just because I didn't include the fact that I don't play that much ranked. Anyways, back to the hacker replay. This guy is a bronze 5 with a 1.16 KD. Highest ever is a silver 5. I am going to guess not cheating. His casual to rank KD is jarringly different, but he's only ever played one casual match, so... Not that bad. Exactly 50% win rate and a 1.16 KD. Yeah, he's just... I think he just had a good match, and I honestly think the enemy team just wasn't that good. No offense to the submitter. Although the submitter was the best one on his team, so no offense to the submitter's team. Alright, and match number two, we have Ramstein Pent, who is accusing 
Leon something. Leon Temata. Leon de Temata? Lion kills you? What's with these Spanish names? Wait, I looked away and uh, I just realized. Guys, uh, he may be cheating. There's a slight chance. Let's wait until the enemy team spawns, and then we'll, you know, we'll judge for sure. Maybe, maybe he just had a, a lucky, a lucky shot on those drones that we didn't get to see. You know, it could have been luck. Oh. 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 He looks standing in this view, but in this view he's prone. Damn. Honestly seems like a skill issue on the next part. The ace tried. Okay, uh, I'm gonna guess cheating. Just, just a, a hunch. Okay, let's see his stats. Leon de Mata. Cheating banned already. He was banned a week ago, and then also banned again. He had a 5.66 KD in ranked and an 11 KD in casual. That is insane. Oh, he had one match. That makes sense. A hundred percent win rate in ranked. That's insane. So this match is from February second, and our accuser is one of the barcodes, and he's accusing. Uh, Bula, who is not in this match. Yeah, a hundred percent. He submitted the wrong match because he said. This is on Nighthaven Labs. I don't think that's Nighthaven Labs. Uh, we have double J underscore gold who's accusing Aha. Uh -huh. This is a nine round match. Stolen drone in the first 10 seconds. Innocent. Very little recoil. Guilty. That little recoil in the FMG9 is already suspicious for me. Thanks for some buttered bread. Someone's prone in basement. I'm all the way on the other side of the map. Is it the smoke or the mute? Neither. It is the Valkyrie. Wait, Nook has EMPs? I am disgusted and distraught. Thanks for the six months speeding shadow. Oh, sorry. I keep hitting the microphone. That's about to capitalize on them. They're right next to each other. God damn, all right, bugs. I need him to shoot more because he has insanely good recoil control for the FMG9 after it's been severely nerfed into the ground. I want to say that they increased the recoil by like 50%. Can't control that, but he can control a spray on t an enemy, so... Nook has EMPs for capcans and detectors. Man, if you're bringing EMPs so that you can get past capcan traps as Nook, then you are playing Nook all wrong. An EMP is so loud, using it on cap can traps is just going to completely give you away. 
you'd be better off just shooting them and having your gun be silenced. So fast, it's hard to tell, but he has like zero recoil in the FMG9. He just saw one by his head there. He still has EMPs for some reason. He's pinging. Trying to be like over here behind the desk is someone. The fact that he's probably giving calls to someone else to push it. Just kidding, no one's pushing. Actually, Nomad might be pushing it. That recoil control is really good on the FMG9. I assume he's gonna check behind the desk regardless of the fact that the Wilmai moved. Okay, he checks the desk just to be sure. He didn't see the Womai there. So he has no reason to push that thinking he did see them. Which means that Womai should be able to capitalize and get a kill. gets flanked by the Wumai and has no idea. I feel like if he were cheating, he would have been ready for that. I'll have to look at his rank after, but I assume he must be a fairly high rank if his recoil control is this good on the FMJ9. It's damn good recoil control, but the recoil is still there. That is true. We've had some people where they have like literally zero recoil macros and it looks like it doesn't move at all. At least you can still see the shaky. Oh my leaves. Duck is chasing. You'd be able to hear the one my running around. A little late on the reaction there. He actually went for the revive instead of, uh, or maybe the plant instead of pushing the frost. It does also seem like they are a nook main, so practice would have been perfect for controlling that recoil. They also spend an insane amount of time on drones. I think this one nook spent more time on drones in the last two rounds than anyone on Champ Crew did throughout the entire season that we played. We never droned. He is checking everything. And setting up two drones now to watch like two different angles that he can push on. It's gonna be G feeling better today. I'm actually feeling worse. I'm not as tired anymore from the cold or whatever the fuck I have, but my cough is getting worse, which is annoying. And I'm getting more nasally. If they play smoke on defense, that's why he's good recoil control. Guess we'll see. If he has the SMG 11, it should be fairly good. would spot the drone and I know his team has like sight control there but what if someone's coming back for the the like retake and he just gets cornered I guess he's just super confident that no one is coming back and that everyone is on sight 
What? This must be a replay bug, because look at where he's shooting and how it kills Frost. Then I'm going to do two times. I'm pretty sure every single shot was like a foot to the left of Frost. Like that wasn't even close and Frost went down. Sadly, I can't check pink, but this guy must be legging off his tits if he got a kill that way. No way that guy lost that fight. God damn, Ella. I'm on controller, but I can easily re control recoil and Nook's gun. I mean, controller would be a bit easier because uh, the pull down, or I mean, moving the joystick down is easier on controller because it's all vertical. There's no horizontal on Nook's gun. So as long as you know how much to hold down, it should be fine. And he is an SMG-11 main, so that explains why his recoil control is insanely good. Also, uh, just throwing it out there, because people always forget about this. Console does have less recoil than PC. A lot of people genuinely don't know that. I think it's like 30 or 40% less recoil on every single gun. They just scale it down. It makes sense. Siege has no aim assist. You need to give controller something. But it is easier to control. This season, I don't know if it's a replay bug or a desync with the game, but happens many times. The guy shoots a foot away from me and gets me. I guess now that you mentioned that, I, I think I have seen it a fairly decent amount this season. I feel like me saying, he didn't even hit me. Like, saying that has happened way more than normal. GMRs are hard as hell on controller. I remember um, this happened on PC and on controller. When DMRs used to not have a limit on how fast you could shoot them, it was all rel or based off of how fast you could click or pull the trigger. Um, there was an insane period where people could just shoot DMRs like so insanely fast that uh, they were shooting faster than like an AR or SMG. This guy does have really good recoil control in the SMG-11. All the damage of a DMR, yeah. Oh, that guy ate. Yeah, those are crazy times. There were there was been a lot of questionable decisions like way back in the day for Siege. So back in year one, shotgun pellets used to have headshot multipliers. So you could shoot a shotgun, and if one pellet hit their head, they would die. Didn't matter how far away, because every pellet would have a 50 times multiplier on the head. As long as it did two damage, they're dead. Don't know why anyone at Ubisoft thought that was a good decision. Uh, because then they start introducing a lot of semi-auto shotguns and they just wreak havoc. Very, very questionable decision making back in the day. I mean, they have some questionable decisions now. A sniper 90. Super 90 went hard back in the day. I was a sniper 90 main. Go down a person already. Remember when you could run out for like 8 seconds before getting spotted? It was 5, but yes, I do remember that. 
but also remember you used to have this weird yellow like dark yellow filter that covered your screen so it was very hard to see people outside on top of the lighting just being terrible me and uh, a lot of the other content creators have talked about loading back up like the old siege seasons because they have there's a project where you can load them back up like you can run year one season one siege but you can only play with friends obviously there's no like servers um and we've talked about doing that because we think it would be a lot of fun but then like you think about all these changes and you're like oh i miss them i miss them so much like it's it's gonna be so bad if we ever do it interesting choice to retake master when they've already taken astra like i would have gone to boar and then held deer from there but oh i know does frost have diffuser down where the hell is diffuser Oh, it's on the balcony. Ross doesn't know that. Finka? What are you doing? Finka was the one droning her. And no one's going for diffuser. Trolling a little, going to Chanka on match point. We don't have their actual name. Like, the Aha is obviously a stream mode name. So, I'm gonna have no idea what their stats will be like. I'll break could have been another limited mode. Or extraction, yeah, extraction should have been. I just wanna point out this great little fight going on over here. I don't know what the fuck just happened here, but... Uh, but what I was going to say is, yeah, extraction is, like, the definition of the statement. This could have been an email. How did he know? He didn't know exactly where she was, because obviously he didn't land a shot on her, but... He scared her out of the corner. Okay, basement roaming, I love this. And they should make a playlist for mini games. That was supposed to come out in year seven, season three, I think, and has now been pushed back to year eight, season two. Assuming it doesn't get pushed back again, which I think, frankly, is expecting a lot. Um, I still think it's gonna be like a very dead game mode. Most of the events, after about two days, are completely dead and queue times take forever. I don't really think that a playlist dedicated to just repeating the games over and over again will be that successful. Wait, how does he have a quad kill? He only killed three people. Did I miss one? So they must have gone trapped and someone finished it. I just don't know where. It was the Finca. Oh no, it was the IQ, rather. Oh, trapped in that window. Oh, okay. Now we're all caught up. Insane triple. A little bit better than they've normally been for the, throughout the rest of the match, but I wouldn't say enough to be suspicious off just that. 
It also seemed like the enemy team just was not ready for anyone to be in there. He would know that they are on that balcony based off everyone else shooting them. Oh my god, that recoil. Jesus. Because, yeah, he comes up main stairs, goes back, or I guess my main red, goes up red. Pushes to here. His teammate, Mute, has already been fighting some of them, so they know based off of, you know, general game sense my teammate is fighting. Bullets are flying out. They push in here not knowing where anyone is. They hold an angle that they deem to help the Mute because the Mute was previously in there or in that room that Osa is in. They were a little too ready on that one and that one, but that's like the first time this entire game that they've done anything suspicious, so I'm gonna chalk it up to good timing. Arcade could be good if they make it like the Battlefield portal and let the community build events using existing mecha mechanics. They're not gonna do that. I can guarantee you that will never happen in Siege, so. It won't be good then. <laughs> it does say a lot that uh, on Frost they struggled to kill that Fink at the end of the last round. And yet on Nook and uh, with an SMG-11 they have phenomenal recoil control. Little, little odd. does bother me how often he pops his gadget and then just sprints with it instead of actually using it to its advantage. Or I guess full potential. FMG9. Wait, did I keep seeing FMJ9? Is it FMG? I can't remember now. But that recoil makes you unreasonably upset. I mean, they nerfed it into the ground. It is really, really bad now. Like, it used to be fairly consistent, and they were like, well, Nook's way too prevalent in pro league and high-ranked matches. Probably in casual, too, but those are stats that we were given. So they probably were just like, yeah, we need to nerf it. Say FMJ. Which what's the gun that I'm thinking of that has a J? One of them is like something J. Oh, loses that gun fight. It'd be nice to just reprogram a map, like start with a free for all in the last live, you have to take on the one who survives on the enemy, then 1v1. So you're asking like what you said, portal what portal had with battlefield. You do realize, though, that the issue is, like, Siege's game code is still s super spaghetti-based. Like, it is not great. I think you'd be able to hear the sledge break in below, which is why he's looking down here. If I'm not mistaken, the sledge broke into the wall. No, just a barricade. And where is Jaeger? Like, pretty far away. I don't... Would you be able to hear that? He broke in here, and Jaeger's up here. I think that'd be too far. No one on his team is on cameras or anything. And yet he is... Okay, so he's bugged out. And yet he is ready to take on the sledge. That makes me a little bit more suspicious. But yeah, um, going back to the whole portal thing, Siege's ga game code is still pretty spaghetti based, like it's not gonna get any better to the point where they can do stuff like that. Like they struggle to do normal things because of how spaghetti coded it is. They've fixed it a lot, but there's still a huge amount of base that is messy. And with these new games, uh, that is one thing is a lot of these new games bring in things that people really like. For example, streamer mode. 
And then Siege struggles to do that because Siege is an old game. So their whole architecture of like the system is based off of one thing. It's very hard for them to just change it all up. Especially like seven years in without breaking anything. So it is tough for them to do. They should still do it, but it is tough. Still holding basement for some reason. Lanus have the ability to make custom servers with custom rules and to be able to adjust the damage of weapons, the health system, and how long gadgets work and how many you can carry an unrealistic wish, but I think it'd be great. Yeah, again, like it's great to wish for that, but like you gotta be realistic. The game is never gonna be in that state, I don't think. Unless they just give you admin controls, but then they're never gonna do that. I don't understand what he's doing. He like he held basement for sledge and now he's just still holding down here and like, no one is coming that way. Everyone's on the balcony. Not that he would know that unless he was cheating, but... He made a good call in holding the sledge and then hasn't done shit since. He's in a 1v4. No way they give this to him. Okay. So I will try to find their stats, but realistically, I think we're not going to find anything. We can see what the average MMR of the lobby is. Platinum slash gold. Silver, but normally a plat player. Bronze, but normally gold. Okay, here it is. Oh, they were a five stack. From Sri Lanka. Uh, they are a emerald player with a 1.17 KD. They have apparently hopped from team to team a decent amount. Um, not cheating. Okay, now this last one I think should be fairly obvious, but it's going to be a twofer. So we have R ROB5, or Robs, I guess, accusing Blue Sky Hell in two matches back to back. So first was the Oregon match. We're looking at Blue Sky Hell. Where they said um, one game they were against them and the other game they were with them. So we'll watch the first one, which yeah, is only six rounds, and then we'll see if anything happens in the next match. I already just, I want to point out they just reinforced this wall, both of them, so they could be a troll cheater, they could also be a fairly new player. <laughs> Who cannot hit a drone apparently. Oh. Point on the cameras finally. Nice, solid camera placement. So I just want to point out that in the event of anything looking suspicious, we have to consider the fact that they reinforce site walls, which makes them seem like more of a noob. So if they have suspicious play, then it's like, okay, you're just trolling and then cheating when you can. when the bodies glitch out like that. In this case, I get they'd be able to hear the punch. But they literally line them up through the cabinet. Did he just try to do that again? If you guys were were betting, do you think that you would bet on this person being a cheater? Because uh, I'm starting to think they might be a cheater. Huge C4. Landed on the inside window that has no destruction.
He was ready. He pre-fired that. I'm gonna guess. My theory. New player who is cheating. Doesn't know how to do site setup. And is cheating trying to uh I guess get better faster? I get he had the drone and he tried to hit them, but I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's like basically locked onto them. He aimed where the head would be if they were standing straight. Buggy. I'm gonna guess uh, he's trying to give calls to make it look like his team is doing more. The reason they submitted two matches because they were like, I think he was most obvious in the second match. The second match, round nine, they said is the most damning evidence. Zofia LMG, that's how you know they're cheating. They want 150 bullets. Literally just looked at that person in library through the wall. Very evidently cheating. They have been banned. They got banned uh, a week ago. They didn't even have... I guess that's actually a pretty high KD. 2.83 KD in casual. So what is that today for cheaters then? So we had one match that didn't work out. It's only four people to like really accuse. Uh, Blue Sky was a cheater. I can't remember, was Aha a cheater? No, they weren't. Uh, Leon de Mata was a cheater, and an I Love Timor, or I Love Tamor was not a cheater. So 50-50, two and two, not, not bad. So apparently, by the way, Ubisoft had announced some type of new anti-cheat, or hadn't announced it, but we had talked about it, where um, they basically update your game every like two hours to make it really hard for cheat makers to keep up their cheats because keeping up with a two hour update cycle is very hard um it came out all the cheaters were gone and then they removed it and all the cheaters came back and then apparently it came they added it again and then all the cheaters were still there so people were confused whether it was actually working or not and then in the year eight panel i believe it was or year eight season one they announced that it was coming out which means that if, if up until now it has not been in the game and cheaters are just allowed to run rampant, it means that it could finally be coming out and we could finally see some ending to cheating. But I don't think so. I honestly, as, as hopeful as I would love to be about cheaters being gone, even if QB comes out and even if it works decently well, I don't think they're going to be gone. I hope they do, but yeah... I don't, I don't think it's going to change much. But we'll see. Because this is going to be a last hacker replay of this season. And then next season, I'll do one the week after the season releases. 
and then we'll, we'll see where we're at as far as cheaters go. So if anyone faces anyone who they think is a cheater on like the first few days of the new season, please submit it to me. I would love to see how many cheaters we actually have. 